Lesson 16.2a, Understanding the Mean Absolute Deviation, MAD. A measure of center tells us the middle or center of a data set. A measure of variability is a number that tells us how much the data values are spread out from the center. So a measure of variability is a single number used to describe the spread of a data set. It can also be called a measure of spread. It's one number that tells us how far the numbers in the data set are from the mean or median of that set. The mean or average is the sum of the data values divided by the amount of data values. We have three data values. We add them and get a 12. We divide it by the three. We get four for our mean or average. One measure of variability is the mean absolute deviation, MAD, which is the mean, the average, of the distances of each of the data values from the mean of the entire data set. So the mean absolute deviation is the average of the absolute values of the distance from the measure of the center. This is really confusing. Stick with me. To find the mean absolute deviation, the MAD, this is our data set. We've got five numbers in our data set. We first find the mean of the entire set. So we're going to add all these digits. We get a 30. And because there's one, two, three, four, five of them, we're going to divide it by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. The mean for the entire set is 6. The next thing we do is we find the distances of each of these numbers in the data set to this mean 6. The distance between them would be 6 minus 2. The distance is 4. And 6 minus 3. The distance is 3. 6 minus 4. The distance is 2. 6 minus 9 or 9 minus 6. I'll explain that in a second. Would be a 3. And then we've got a 12 minus 6, which is a 6. So distances are always positive numbers. 12 minus 6 equals 6 is the same as the absolute value of 6 minus 12. We'd get a positive 6. And you're going to learn more about adding and subtracting absolute values in the future, OK? So. Here we've got our distances of 4, 3, 2, 3, and 6. We find the average of those distances. We find the mean of these distances. We add 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6. We get an 18. And because there's five numbers, we divide it by 5. 18 divided by 5 is equal to 3 and 3 fifths, or as a decimal, 3 and 6 tenths. That's our MAD. So we found the mean of the entire set. We found the differences, the distances between these numbers and the mean of the entire set. Then we found the mean, the average, of those distances, and that was our MAD. The word quantify as a verb means to discover or express the quantity of. And the MAD can be used to quantify how far numbers in a data set are away from the mean and the median. And for the distance between the mean of the entire set and each data value, we use absolute values. Distances are positive. We use positive numbers. So let's walk through another example. It's telling us to find the mean absolute deviation, the MAD. We see our data set. We need to find the mean of the entire set. So we add all of the data values together. We get 637. There are one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values in the set. So we're going to divide it by 7. We get a 91. That's the mean, the average, for the entire set. Now we need to find the distances to the mean for each value in this set. And distances are always positive numbers, so we may have to flip the 91 to be either the minuen or to be the subtrahend, depending, so that we'll get a positive number. We have 91 minus 85. That distance is going to be a 6. Now we have a 96 minus 91, so we get a positive 5. We have a 91 minus 78. We get 13. We have 100 minus 91. That's a 9. 
and we find the differences between this mean for the entire set and each of the data values. Now that we've got these distances as the differences, we add them up because we're going to find the mean of these distances. It equals 39. We know there are seven values, so we're going to divide it by seven. We get five and four sevenths, or as a decimal, rounded to the nearest tenth, we get about five and six tenths. So the MAD is an average of an average. We're finding the average of the entire set and then the distances between each of these values in the set and the average, the mean. And then we find the average of those, the mean of those, and that's our MAD. Since we are finding the mean of the data set, the data values don't need to be in order from least to greatest. The commutative property of addition states that we can add in any order and we're going to get the same sum. If our data values are 1, 2, 3, to find the mean, the average, we add 1 plus 2 plus 3, we get a 6. There's three data values, so we divide it by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. We know our mean or average is 2. If they were in a different order, we'd still get 6 divided by 3. Our mean would still be 2. We can add in any order. So we don't need to put the data values in order from least to greatest when finding the mean. Okay, we're finished with this first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part using mean absolute deviation. We'll solve a word problem using the MAD. I hope this helped you understand, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.